Here is a quick entomology lesson. For example, these are hexagena mayflies. This is what they look like while they're living at the bottom of a river or pond, and this is an imitation of them. They come out of the water, they're sexually mature, and they're ready to mate, and they swarm by the thousands. And here's an imitation of that. After they mate, they die, and the fish are eating them in this stage too. Let's take a closer look at mayflies. All right, let's see what bugs are in here. You see these little guys scurrying around? These are all little mayfly nymphs. Different species have different looks and they hatch at different times of the year. So knowing your bugs really helps. This little worm here kind of looks like a worm. That's a caddis nymph. A few more in here. Green rock worm or your free living caddis. And that was two of your most popular species of caddis fly nymphs. They grow into the adult and then they come back to the water to die, imitating them all the way. Here's a stonefly. The other ones we were finding earlier were a lot bigger. Yep, there he goes. And stoneflies go anywhere from half an inch all the way up to about three four inches long very varied size so just know what's in your water at certain times of the year the underbelly is probably the most important part of it fishing streamers or bait fish patterns are ways to get some of your largest fish of the season crayfish are another source of food that is so important to the fish. Then we have terrestrials. They don't come from the water, but they live around the water, it's such as grasshoppers, ants, and of course, crickets. And there are tons of imitations of these. Just quickly see, this is about a 20 minute scenario cut up. It's the beginning of the hatch. As we see a few mayflies here and there. And this is just as the sun is going down, the species, they tend to hatch at that time. And uh, as you notice, the numbers are getting more and more increased. So knowing what you have uh, might not look exact, but you can get pretty close. Size, shape, color. Those are going to be the most important things. That atoms there, good general imitation fly. So as long as you're pretty close, you should have no problem in catching fish. Just remember, keep those colors right. Or at least keep them close. Presentation is going to be your key. But remember, keep it simple. Does it look like the fly? Eh, it'll probably imitate it. Alright, good skills out there.